Good praise morning, the Lord. Praise Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Yes, Thank you, God. Jesus. Bless us in abundant day. We are yes, here by the grace the of God. Yes. And we come to you to bring the word of God. Yes, and we will bow before God and ask for his direction. Yes. We don't want to lead your own way. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> but Father, we honor you and praise you again this yes, morning. We Jesus. thank you, God, Honorable this Sinkin wonderful Adana. day you have blessed us with. Yes, Lord, we come to you praise to give you, you of ourselves, present our bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service. And we thank yes. you. We bless your name. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Praise God. Mm -hmm. Looking for a willing heart. Amen. Willing heart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God is looking for a willing heart. God is looking for a willing heart. One who will obey. To do His will, God is looking for a willing heart, one who will obey. Are you willing to be used by God to do His will? Well, are you willing to be used by God to do His will? Amen. This morning Amen. we'll be coming from the book of Joel mm. 2, mm. verse 28 through 29. And, you know, uh, other day I was in prayer and I just heard the word of the Lord say, he says, ministry is not all about us. Mm -hmm. and, and like, who is us? Who is us, mm -hmm. Lord? He's talk I'm talking to the pastors, the evangelists, the prophets, you know, or the, the fivefold men. It's not all about us. <laughs> You know, uh, our agenda and what we want in our church, it's all about what the Lord wants you to do. Are you willing to have a willing heart to do what the Lord wants you to do? Yeah, yeah. So, Praise you know, uh, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, mm -hmm. not being arrogant this morning, but I was in prayer. He was just saying, thank you. Thank you for having a willing heart to open your doors up to have the great awakening. And I said, well, mm -hmm. Lord, yeah, okay, Lord. <laughs> You know, sometimes the Lord. Yeah. I, I don't want to do it, but I just I go on and do it because I know that's what the Lord wants me to do. Mm -hmm. But anyway, we're here to have a willing heart to do it, thus said right. the Lord, that's you know. Right. It's not all about us. It's about souls. It's about gathering the harvest. It's about making disciples. That's what mm -hmm. it's all about. That's what it's all about. Right. And so in Joel, it reads like this morning, <clears throat> And it shall come to pass mm -hmm. afterwards that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, mm -hmm. and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, mm -hmm. your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions, and also upon the servants and upon the handmaidens in, in those days where I'll pour out my spirit. Mm -hmm. God is Amen. pouring out his spirit. Mm -hmm. Now, does that mean everybody's going to go out and start prophesying, start teaching, start <laughs> preaching, passing, event? <laughs> no, no. He said, I'm just pouring, you know, it, it's, it's for your life to, you know, in this life, you need God to pour out your spirit. I mean, you know, uh, mm -hmm. you know, we we get empty, mm -hmm. we get empty because so much going on in, in life. But so we have to listen. We have to come to Him mm -hmm. so He can pour some more into us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Then we come back. We're able to minister to people, talk to people, deal with everyday life, That's you know. Right. That's right. And, you know, we drink a little bit and we, we start leaking. That's right. Kind of fill back up. <laughs> And when we start leaking, that's a sign that we need to go back yeah. to the fountain and let him pour out his spirit upon us. Okay, you know, we, we got to go to him. So, you know. Got holes in you. Sometimes yeah. you leak because you go through so yeah. much, so much pressure and <laughs> trials and tests. And, and you Pass forget. You Sometimes you forget. Wait a minute. I got to go get up and pray. That's I got right. to go back mm -hmm. to. The, I got to get back in the word. That's right. That's right. You got to get in there to patch those holes up, That's those right. hurts That's that right. we've gone through. That's those. right. And, and if you're not praying and you're not 
uh, hooked up to God, yeah. you're easy to get offended. And the next right. thing you, you know, sure it's do. like you go off a short fuse, you know. So we leak. That's why I was talking about you got holes in it. You leak. <laughs> so we need to fill back up. But how do you feel back up? By going to the Word of God. Yeah. And he said, build up your most holy faith in yeah. praying in the That's Holy good. Ghost. That's good. Yes. Fill up, Fill up praying in the Holy Ghost. Build yourself. You're building yes. yourself up. You say, yes. but, but I don't know what I'm saying. Hey, That's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Keep you out. <laughs> Satan don't know what yeah, you're saying, okay? Right. But the God, God ain't gonna give you nothing bad, and just fill up on Him, and then when the time is right, things will open up, and all of a sudden it's like, wow, oh, that's the interpretation that that's what that was. That's Praise right. God, that's right? Because right. we leak, we get that's weak, right. and we get weak, and we must fill up, repair those holes in you, go into that's the world right. and come building yourself up yes. in the. Uh, because God is pouring out his spirit. Because I know you, that's how Tyler, God is pouring out his spirit. So I know you, <laughs> we got to keep going back to the family. We got to, so he can pour out his spirit upon us. Now, right. mm-hmm. like I said, is that for everybody to go out and start prophesying, start <laughs> passing? To, no. Mm-hmm. It's an everyday people. God, he's, he's using everyday people, too. Mm-hmm. He's pouring out his spirit, you know. They might not have a title. They might not have a you know a platform. They may not. They might not mm-hmm. even be important or popular, you know, quote, like we think it's important. But, <laughs> yeah. you know, it might be your neighbors. It might be your, your co-worker. It might be a friend or someone you run into the grocery store, you know, uh, at the mall, at the mm-hmm. park. Mm-hmm. God said, I'm pouring out my spirit. But who is it? The ones that's coming to the fountain, you know, yeah. daily, yeah. you know. That's God right. uses whoever right. you want to use. <clears throat> mm-hmm. They might have a, listen, they might have a testimony that maybe something that you're going through that hearing that testimony, you're like, oh, if they did it, mm-hmm. if God did it for them, I, he can bring me through too. That's right. So he's using, he's pouring out his spirit. You know, okay. we, we want to know, you know, he was talking to me. He said, it's not all about the pastors. Mm-hmm. It's about souls. That's right. It's about gathering the harvest, doing the will of the Father. Yeah, we're here for you. <laughs> yeah. That's what we're here for. It's, it's, it's not about yeah. uh, because... Uh, many times on my agenda, I will be doing something else. My natural man saying, oh, I don't want to do that. But you got to tell your flesh to shut up. It's not about you. Yeah. We have been bought with a price, and we have to glorify God in our spirit and our soul in our body. We are healed. We're not our own. I've been born of God. Yes, Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 You know what? <laughs> As I was saying, one thing I like about the Lord, you know, he's not crazy. He said, I'm pouring out my spirit upon all oh, flesh. Right. Oh, he ain't leaving uh, nobody out. That's if you're willing and obedient to obey. Because, you know, he mm-hmm. talked to a lot of us. Not that we like, oh, is the mm-hmm. Lord talking to me? No, um, I didn't hear him. And we're just <laughs> going to do our own little thing. But, you know, he he even uses children. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I, I still can remember. I still, it, it be on my mind a lot. I still can remember we was going through so much. And, and my mm-hmm. son just started. Just started singing. I don't know where. It was small. Yeah. I've got peace. Yeah. And I mean, he just started touchy. singing. It was mm-hmm. so touchy. I started crying. And, mm-hmm. and uh, mm-hmm. I don't know if I heard him sing since, but in a way. <laughs> so I go to show you how he can yeah. use children, too. But he can use the mailman. Yeah. He can use the janitor, the homeless. <laughs> you know, whoever God mm-hmm. wants to use, he, he's the one that chooses them. So <laughs> I want to read uh, 1 Corinthians uh uh, chapter 1, verse 26 through 29. Uh, I mean, you know, God chooses whoever he wants. We know we, we right. get our quote like, mm-hmm. oh, no, I don't know he ain't going to choose them. But anyway, <laughs> he said, for you see your calling, brother, mm-hmm. how that, I'm, that many wise, many men after the flesh, not, not many mighty, not many mm-hmm. noble, are called. Mm. Mm-hmm. Did you hear what he said? Oh, Lord. Wow. Mm, that's, that's saying something. something. That's, that's something. But God, mm-hmm. now hear me out, he chooses who he wants. Mm-hmm. But God have chosen the foolish things of the world Uh-oh. to confound the wise. Now, Uh-oh. I know what he's talking about because uh, I wasn't where I all come in that. The I, had, thing. <laughs> I had to go to speech class. And I, even when he called me, I said, God, are you sure you're calling the right one? Don't you know? I, <laughs> I still have problem pronouncing certain words with S's. And I'm like, Lord, Jesus, are you sure you're calling the right one? But... You know, and God have chosen the weak things mm-hmm. of the world to confound the things which are mighty. That's right. And base things of the world and the things which are despised mm-hmm. have God chosen. You hear that? God mm-hmm. chosen, you mm-hmm. know. Mm-hmm. Yay. Mm-hmm. And the things which are not to bring to naught things that are. That's right. That no mm-hmm. flesh, you hear? No flesh. Mm-hmm. So you ain't going to get no glory. That mm-hmm. no flesh should <laughs> glory in his presence. That's right. That's right. Anyway, mm-hmm. so God mm-hmm. chooses who he wants, you know. <laughs> 
this often. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah, so, so I looked at, a lot of people looked at him and said, I've heard people to tell me, oh, dumb scound. You know, and that, you know, that, that hurts. Yeah. That yeah. really hurts. But you know what? And, and when God called and chose and they looked at you, the eyes got big like, why would it? You could see in them. They didn't say it, but you could see it in their face. Why would God choose that? Well, it's scripture. <laughs> So no flesh with glory in his presence. Yeah. I didn't have the degrees, okay? Ain't nothing wrong with degrees. And praise God for you that have the degrees, okay? Mm-hmm. But I'm, I said, Lord, I, what do I do? Lord, I, maybe I need to go to school. And, of course, I've had those, that, uh, there were those, that, the word that come forth and says, no, 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 you hold off. God will teach you what you want, what he want you to do. God will guide you. And, you know, God uh, we went to school, but it wasn't schooling like yeah, man. Right. Schooling, <laughs> he was. allowed us to go through circumstances and situations, all right? And he put us in uh, the impossible things and the like, oh. But he taught us, and we learned from that. And now ain't no man can take that from me. Because God true. taught me. That's you know, true. Pastor Paul said that. He says, I w-, he said, I w- man didn't teach it me. He said, but he went out, and God taught him. The things that man, he spent some time with Peter and them and whatever. But God taught him. He said, "I got it by revelation." So that's what the Holy Ghost job. He'll give you revelation, and, and he will show you. Okay, that's what we have an unction from the Holy One, and we know all things. Amen. Amen. All right. Okay. But I like the way it reads in the mm-hmm. in the Easy Reader, and it says, "But God chose the foolish things okay. of the world to shame the wise. Yeah. He chose the weak yeah. things of the world to shame to shame the strong. And mm-hmm. God chose what the world thinks is not important." Right. Yeah. That's good. That's good. What the world hates mm-hmm. and thinks is nothing. He chooses these to destroy what the world wow. thinks is important. Wow. That's heavy. God did this mm-hmm. so that no one can stand before him and boast about anything. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it amazes me mm-hmm. when I was reading about this. Even him, even Jesus, they, they didn't think he was one. You know, mm-hmm. they was like, mm-hmm. oh. That's right. Oh, mm-hmm. oh no. He. You know, he was, he, he just a carpenter boy. He, 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 he didn't marry in Joseph's son. <laughs> oh, he couldn't be the Messiah. No, he, yeah, he, yeah. But, but he had wisdom. And they was like, mm-hmm. well, where did he get such wisdom, wisdom at? They thought, oh, no, this is not him. No, mm-hmm. you know, he, uh-uh, no. It couldn't, why would God choose him? Mm-hmm. And they hey, got offended. And they, you're yeah. right, they got offended. Got they offended. showed it. You know, that same scenario is going on. Same thing today. The people think it's like, well, where did you get that from? What school you in? Uh, oh, yet somebody one time that uh, the, the Spirit of God was working pretty heavy upon us, and somebody took the Bible, took our Bible, I believe it was your Bible, wasn't it? Huh? And says, what kind of Bible yeah, you sure got? Did, yeah. They took, they yeah. were trying to find out the Bible, the same Bible you had. What happened? It was revelation. Yeah. Okay. So that's why we pray. I pray constantly, Lord, grant me the spirit of wisdom in the revelation, in the revealed word of God. Reveal to me what you are saying. I'm reading. I'm I'm seeing it. I'm hearing and not hearing. Seeing and not hearing. I'm not seeing. Help me, God. So grant to me the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of it. So if I get the knowledge of God, then the Holy Ghost all of a sudden like, Lord, I've been reading it for years. Now I see what you're saying. That's what the Holy Ghost do. He'll give you revelation. And it's like, whoa, now I see it. That's what you're talking about. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. How many know they were looking for the Messiah? They spirit. were they were mm-hmm. just looking and now mm-hmm. oh, the Messiah, who is it? Who is it gonna be? And they look for somebody <laughs> with you know great scholarship and all this and you know. <laughs> okay. Well. And the scripture says but the great men of the world, the great men mm-hmm. of the world, I mean, you know, the ones that are real small, the great men of the world, rulers, mm-hmm. had not understood it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If they had, they never would have crucified right. the Lord. In other words, That's right. mm-hmm. they crucified him. <laughs> they crucified Listen, how, how st- <laughs> you have been believing for the Messiah. You just waiting, oh, Messiah coming. Mm-hmm. He's going to deliver us. Mm-hmm. And he's standing right among you. <laughs> He, he's right there with you. Every now and then he's yeah. teaching. He's, he's, mm-hmm. he's listening. He's healing, doing great things. And they rejected him. Mm-hmm. And then on top of that, you're going to crucify this man. God chooses yeah. whoever he wants. Right. So we're sitting up here looking like, 
<laughs> oh, I bet that's who they. That's who God gonna call to preach. Oh, they so smart. <laughs> oh, you'd be surprised who God called. You know. <laughs> right, right. Carry you to the wilderness a little while so you can be chosen, for, so He can use you. Oh, or got to get rid of yourself. That pride. You know, pride. God said it's an abomination to Him. It's rejected by Him. Pride. And people think that pride. Yeah. The world say no. Oh, look at the rank they got. Oh, look at that. That's because that's what your flesh wants. Hard to be used by God. Gets in the way. You remember when she, in the beginning she read, not many mighty men are called. <coughs> not many noble. You know, after the flesh. Not many wise men after the flesh are called. Yeah. There's not many. Just, but God chosen the foolish yeah. things of the world. And why would God do that? To confound those yeah. things. You know, they think that we got it. It's it. But God says, no, 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 no. That's not me. You remember when God called the... Uh, uh, Remember, he chosen David as king of Israel, and when when they went, when God sent send the prophet down there to Jesse's house, David's father, to those boys, and say, "Well, okay, which one?" He knew he was coming, and here are all the boys. David's out in the field, they're tending to the sheep, <laughs> the nobody, if you would, all right. And when they went, and so Sam, even Samuel, the prophet of God, when he looked and saw Eliab, whoa. Oh, he's robust. Look at this. Surely the God's anointing upon him. And God says, don't look on his stature. I have rejected him. He's not the one. So he went to the next. Yeah. And no, God says, I hadn't chosen him either. And he went to the next. And he went through all of his sons. And Samuel says, God hadn't chosen none of these. And all these the, of importance, so to speak, what it looked good with the eye. God says, I've not chosen that. Samuel said, have you got any more? I know God sent me. He said, well, there is a little boy out there in the field. Mm -hmm. he, yeah. He's a ruddy. Yeah. He, he's yeah. a little, he, he yeah. why would you? Choose he him. said, go get him. I can't <laughs> do nothing until God sent me, and I can't do nothing. Go get him. Let's see if this is him. He got him. He told, here come David. He got, and God said, that's him. He said, oh, this is him. Anoint him. He's the one. See, you see? Man's way is not God's way. God's way is not. His yeah. thoughts are not ours. It's high above heaven. It's above earth. It's like we have to humble ourselves before God and do what God tells you to do. That's where your success is. You say, I don't want to go to that church over there. There's nobody. Somebody said, oh, <laughs> there ain't nothing. They go, why would we go over there? You know, And it tickled me because I'm like, we must be on track. <laughs> <laughs> and since then, some things happen. All of a sudden, you see them bow before you, like, you know, and I say, you know, not literally bow, but you can see in their face shame. And like, what happened? God chosen the foolish things yeah. to confound the wise. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Praise God. Go and, and verse 9 out there in Corinthians <laughs> mm -hmm. says, that is what it is meant by the scripture, which says that mm -hmm. no more man has ever seen, heard, or even imagined what mm -hmm. wonderful things God has ready for those who love yeah. us. So you, you yeah. can't, you know, you just yeah. don't know when God started you. You don't know where he's taking you to. Mm -hmm. He's right. He already had a plan for you. You just Amen. got to come to the fountain. Mm -hmm. He's pouring out. He's pouring out. Right. Pouring out the spirit right. upon all flesh. So, mm -hmm. you know, we can't just narrow it down to certain people God is using. No, you don't know who yeah. he's using. Keep the door you, open. Keep this right, right you right, know. And he right. got some. Mm -hmm. I always believe that greatest he that's in you than he that's in the world. And that's mm -hmm. what I, I have mm -hmm. to constantly say it to myself because, you know, I'm like, why did God choose me? <laughs> I'm, I I, and I have to constantly tell myself, you know, I want to go back and just. Do nothing. I don't want to talk. I don't, you know, want to deal with people. And he's like pushing me out there. I, like feel like somebody in the back of me just pushing you. Going out there now. Go, 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 go on out there. You know, sometimes he give you a little spanking, and he has, like, okay, Lord, I go, I go, I do this. <laughs> you know, my wife and I, we were kind of like raised up, if you would, together. Cause we went to school together from elementary on up. You know, okay. And in school, I remember in in the First, second, third grade, especially around the third grade, I remember I started liking her in the third grade anyway. But, <laughs> and uh, she had these glasses, I remember. She, had the, she would wear glasses, and because she always had wore glasses. Well, I liked it, so I wanted glasses. You know, but she was trying to get rid of them, her glasses. She didn't want glasses. I wanted glasses. I, I like, and she would, she's talking about that she couldn't pronounce the words right. So we had speech therapy. Yeah. 
and they used to go, and I remember this, and you know, third third grade, I remember this, and and they would, so they had a certain group they would take for what were, what were y'all going for about thirty minutes or hour something or something like, like that. Hour, yeah. They they would go in this speech therapy. Well, I wanted to go. I wanted to go and speak. I liked her, you know. And so, but they said, no, you don't qualify for that. You know what I'm saying? And so, but, and she felt like that she was a nobody. And all the time, my eyes was on her. I liked her. You know, I told her the other day, I said, you know, I thank God put that in me. To, you know, as a young girl, because, you know, third grade, who is thinking about, you know, you know, look, you, you have little, little kids, you like this kid, like that kid, you know what I'm saying? But I, some, I just liked her, and I don't know what it was. I just liked her, but I believe it was God. He set it up, and uh, to this day, and I'm so glad that God honored it anyway. It's, it's most blessed. So she says she felt like she was foolish. God chose the food, but I, he opened my eyes then because I saw it. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and no regrets. So how many know God chooses whoever he wants? Whoever you know, he wants. <laughs> It's, it's those that have a willing and obedient heart, yeah. you know, willing yeah. to serve the God, willing to do, mm -hmm. you know, what he wants you to do. Sometimes you have, might have to do some things that you don't, you know, you think, oh, mm -hmm. quote, that's not important. Do Why should I do that? But, you know, God's mm -hmm. calling you. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as again, he said, it's not all about us, not all about the ministers. It's about that's souls. Right. That's right. It's mm -hmm. about, you know. Hurting people. Hurt, it's a lot mm -hmm. of hurting people out there. And, you know, mm -hmm. we get into where we think, oh, it's all about us. No, it's not. It's about winning souls. That's right. You know, there's a story mm -hmm. in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Over in Matthew, and I, I just, <clears throat> when I read it, it's sometimes it's just, <laughs> you know, uh, Jesus said to them, it is, it, is, it is true that you will drink from the cup that I drink from, but it is not for mm -hmm. me to say who will sit at my right mm -hmm. or my left. Mm -hmm. My father mm -hmm. has, has decided who would do that. Mm -hmm. He has pre prepared those places for them. Now, my point of it, he's teaching the mm -hmm. disciples now. Mm -hmm. Again, remember, it's not all about them. Mm -hmm. the disciples not about Jesus, mm -hmm. and uh, oh, what is it, John and I think it's mm -hmm. John and James. James uh, John, mm -hmm. their mother said, mm -hmm. "Well, you know, she's like, well, you don't chose the disciples. They want well, who, who, who's going to yeah. sit at your right side? Who's going to sit at your left side when you go to heaven?" And you know. She thought it was all about them. It wasn't mm -hmm. about them, you know. She said, "Grant this." Yeah. She said, "Grant, Lord." And he said, that, "That they were Grant, Grant James and John, yeah. my, my son, that they would sit," and like. God said, "That's that's it's not, not. It's not about that. Tell me you know? about that but that you would know? be given to whom it is prepared <laughs> right. for us. That's my father right. had prepared it for those that prepared for that. <laughs> they will. They will receive that. But, but you know, but yeah. that's what every people want. Though they want to be seen. That's our. That's our nature. She, she was. Flesh. She was. She done forgot." <clears throat> <laughs> the, the purpose of calling them was <laughs> to go out and make disciples. Yeah, she right. up to think, oh, God, you know, who's going to say? And the other disciples got upset about that. Because they think, <laughs> what you miss. think? We've been, we've been following Jesus, <laughs> What too. about me? What about me? <laughs> he's like, okay, mm -hmm. you want to do what I do? Oh, mm -hmm. listen, he said. Hey, so Jesus called the followers together, and he said, mm -hmm. you know that the rulers of the non-Jewish people love to show their power over mm -hmm. the people, and their important leaders love to use all their authority over the people. But it mm -hmm. should not be that way with you. Whoever mm -hmm. wants to be your leader must be your servant. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's talking some junk oh. to them now, y'all. They up there wanting to be beside him. They're you know, like, okay, you want to? You're going to. Hey, whoever wants to be the first must serve this, the rest of your life mm -hmm. a slave. Mm -hmm. Do as I do. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. The son of man did not come. See, he's telling you. Mm -hmm. I didn't come for all this. Yo, I know all that important. He said, the son of man did not come for people to serve him. Mm -hmm. He came to serve others and to give his life to save many people. Wow. Mm -hmm. They have to scrap yeah. him. Who's going to be a set inside him mm -hmm. in heaven? He's like. I ain't, that ain't my trouble. I mm -hmm. didn't come for all that. I ain't, I'm not, it's not all about me. I'm here to win mm -hmm. souls. And if y'all knew what I'm giving, I got to give up my life. Are y'all willing to do what I'm willing to do? <coughs> but anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, no. And God will set it up for you. He'll, yeah, he'll set you. Sure will. Hey, just obey. Just obey. I was looking at, um, reading the scripture there uh, concerning a uh, saw on them, I believe over in the... Let me share this with you real quickly, okay? In the 15th chapter of the book of 1 Samuel, Samuel, God sent him to King Saul and anointed him so that he would, uh, he said, I, I remember what the Amalek did to Israel, you know, back 
during the time uh, the time they was in the wilderness. But he said, I remember what he did to them, how he laid wait for them in the way when he came up from Egypt. He said, now go, I want you to smite Amalek and utterly destroy all that you have and spare them not. Now, this is the, listen, God gives specific instruction. Smite all of them. Don't spare nothing. And slay both man and woman, infant, even children, sucklings, ox and sheep, camels and ass, or donkeys, okay? He said, that is the instruction for you to do. And then it goes on in short. It said, but Saul and the people spurred the king, Agag, and the best of the sheep. Oh, man, this is valuable. Can you see men doing that today? Oh, I ain't going to get rid of this. But what did God say? He's got the best of the sheep and the fatlings, the lambs, and all that was good, and he would not destroy that. But the things that was vile and he refused, I don't want all that, you know. And it looks sound logical, don't it? Like he done it a good thing, it's so it seemed. And in verse 13 says, And Samuel came to Saul and said unto him, Blessed be thou, Lord, uh, of the Lord, for I have performed the commandment of the Lord. How many know manipulation? It sounds like he commanded, uh, uh, have uh, performed the commandment of the Lord. He said, I have. And then verse 14 says, Samuel says, What mean it then the bleeding of the sheep in my ears? Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, bah, bah. Didn't God <laughs> say destroy? He said, and the lowering of the oxen. You know, Moo. Why am I hearing this? Didn't God say destroy it all? And Saul says, oh, they. Now he put it on the people. They have bought them from Amalek, for the people spurred the best of the sheep and the oxen to sacrifice unto the Lord, thou God, and the rest we have utterly destroyed. We destroyed everything else, the Lord. We did it, but we, we just, this is to you, God, just like they done done something all good. Wow. And Samuel says, just stay here, and let me see what the Lord say about this. It looks good. Sounds good what y'all did. So Samuel had to wait, go, listen to the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord came. Verse 17 says, he said, and Samuel says, when thou was little in your own sight, uh, was thou not made the head of the tribes of Israel? And the Lord anointed thee king over Israel. And the Lord sent thee on a journey and said, go and utterly destroy the sinners and the Amalekites and fight against them until they be consumed. Wherefore then didst thou not obey the voice of the Lord? But you, flew, you, you, you did fly up on the spoil and did evil in the sight of the God called it evil. <laughs> and Saul said unto Samuel, uh, Yeah, but I have obeyed the voice of the Lord. How <laughs> many people do that today? I, they did part of it. Yeah. I have obeyed yeah. the voice, and I've gone the way of the Lord that, that he sent me, <clears throat> and I bought Agad and the king and the Malachite, and I destroyed the Malachite, but I just bought the king. I just bought some of the... It's to, it's to you, God, to sacrifice to you. And he says... Wow, verse, what is it, verse 22? Samuel says, Had the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord? He said, Behold, listen, behold, to obey is better yeah. than sacrifice. Yeah, that's right. And to hearken or listen yeah. than the fat of rams. You yeah. did all this, you thought you'd done something, didn't you? No, no, no. All God is asking is obey. And you know what? God put that in the category of in, in verse 23, listen to what he said. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. Y'all know there's a lot of witchcraft going on around them. Yeah. Really? And Yeah. <laughs> and stubbornness. Listen, stubbornness. A lot of stubborn folk is as iniquity and idolatry. Because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he had also rejected thee from being king. God fired mm -hmm. king. Mm -hmm. the, listen, God fired the king right then. <coughs> he fired Saul right then. But yet, he would not move from that throne. And he stayed there for 40 years, nothing but a thorn in the people's flesh. For, it, to, he, for 40 years, he was in, the man was in the way. But God done been nothing fired him. <laughs> wow. Obey. All God is asking for is obedience. Amen. Amen. God is pouring out his spirit. Yes, yes, yes. On yes. whosoever. <laughs> you may be mm. one he's pouring it out. Like I said, it's not. It's not. I don't. <laughs> I'm not sure how we got into all this, but some people think, well, once God starts dealing with them, well, you know, 
Let me go over here and tell so and so what the thus said the Lord. <laughs> Let me go over here and tell those so what thus said the Lord. Most of the time, I, mean, I found out in my life, <laughs> the Spirit of God mm -hmm. is filling me up with His Spirit to yeah. change me. Yes, right. What about you? He's changing <laughs> me. He's cleansing me. Okay. He's telling me what that I need to do. You know, I'm up here. Well, thus said the Lord, James. God mm -hmm. said you need to pray more. <laughs> well, don't we think God is mature enough that He can deal with my <laughs> husband? <laughs> I mean, you know, he's God. So can he deal with him just as much as, yeah. you know, want me, I'll be, you see, you up there trying to tell him what to do, mm -hmm. then you're going to get in some strife. Mm -hmm. But, um, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. it, <laughs> he's, he's cleansing you so that you'll be a light to the world. Some, 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 something different about that mm -hmm. person. I don't know what it is. He's cleansing you. He's, you know, and, and again, mm -hmm. he told me, he said, it's not all about the pastors. It's, you know, sometimes I yeah. think we, yeah. we, he, he's pouring out his spirit on us, and I think we think, well, let me go out here. And, I don't know how mm. I got in this, but let me go out here <laughs> and, and talk to this brother. He's a pastor, and and tell him all I know. You know, you just tell him all. You know, well, the purpose of him pouring out the spirit upon you mm -hmm. is to go out and get disciples and win souls. It's, oh, it's not to make disciples to mm -hmm. get in right. debate with the other pastors, see how much one which one knows the most. But anyway, I mean. It's it's just the yeah. it's for, it's to win souls. Mm. It's not about us. That's it's right. to win souls. Okay. That's listen. There, the harvest people. is so big yeah. out there. Hurting people. Out there. You want to run your mouth or talk a lot? Mm -hmm. oh, you, mm -hmm. you ain't. All you gotta do is go to the grocery store, walk in the park. You'll mm. find somebody that needs help. You, you oh, get yeah. all this in you. Mm -hmm. Talk to them. Mm -hmm. You know we don't run them away. <laughs> Remember that they, they babies, they sheep. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't choke them. You don't want to yeah. choke them. You can you go out there and you see little old baby. Oh, that little baby, look at that, he cute. And here you go with a chicken leg and stick in his mouth. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what happens when you bring. <laughs> you're, you're choking them with the word. You have to back off, back off. They can't take much. Yeah. You know, Lord showed me that one time. He showed me. <laughs> he showed me this. This person was a, uh, well, they. They needed the word. It was obvious. I thought they really needed the word, and uh, you want to help them, you know. And 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 I love or uh, Briar's ice cream, and the Lord showed me a gallon of Briar's ice cream. I mean, it was all in color, everything just right before me. And here, this person stood with right before me. I opened it up, you know. You opened it up, pulled the top off of it, hadn't even been opened, and I took a teaspoon not a tablespoon but a little teaspoon <laughs> and I reached in there and got a teaspoon and I took it and they fed them out of the mouth they went, uh, and they took now this is ice cream now this is sweet this is ice cream they took it and they put it in their mouth and they and they spit over half of that out a little teaspoon and I woke up and I said, Lord, what is They can't even take that. Take and I said, Lord, it be. I had to back up. I can't get in there and tell them all what I know. Look at me and let me show you here what the, the, the preachers trying to impress other preachers, you know, of what they know. Man, that turned me off. So I'll get up. I'll about get up and walk out of service. I'm telling you, Mona. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not being I smart enough. Yeah. But all I want, look, people hurting. People That's dying, right. drying up because of lack of knowledge. And they're like, what? No, where? Well, well anyway, okay. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. God is putting out his spirit. I'm he is, he is, right. he is. Listen to this. this uh, let me give you this. In, uh, in uh, the book of uh, 2 Timothy, out of the, the TPT translation, the Passion Translation, that's the, um, uh, yeah, 2 Timothy the third chapter, and I'm gonna, let me share this with you, five verses, now hear this out again, okay, just hear this out, God is pouring out his spirit, okay, but listen to what's happening, we're in a, we a day, y'all, we gotta fight, you can't Children. take this light, you gotta fight, Children. here's what he says here, he says, starting at verse one, he said, but you need to be aware that in the final days, the culture of society will become extremely fierce, mm. isn't it true? Mm. People will be self-centered lovers of themselves and obsessed with money. Wow. There I'll be. They will boast of great things as they strut around in their arrogant pride and mark all that is right. They will ignore their own families, 
Mm -hmm. They will be ungrateful and ungodly. They will become addicted to hateful and malicious slander. Slaves to their desires, they will be ferocious, belligerent, haters of what is good and right. With brutal treachery, they will act without restraint, bigoted, and warped in clouds of their conceit. They will find their delight in the pleasures of this world more than the pleasures of the loving God. Mm -hmm. They may pretend to have a respect for God, but in reality, they want nothing to do with God's power. Mm. Stay away from people like these. Now, that's the, the word of God, not my word. That's the, the TPT translation. That's powerful word. Y'all, we are there. We are there. Well, I'm going to tell you, we, we, you have to fight. We under the it, you know. If it don't, they will pull you their way. The world will pull you their way. You got to come back. Fight. Yeah. Fight. Know what the word say. Amen. God is pouring out of his spirit. And God loves you. He loves you. He already have paid the price. And he done done all that he going to do. He gave his life for me and you. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So don't be surprised if God start dealing with you, start talking with you. Yes. Just listen to him. You know. It's for your good, and you will be glad. Right. It's nothing like hearing the word of God. And he speak to you like, and call your name, and it's like, <gasps> he know my name. Certainly he does. And it's like, man, that does something to you when the Lord speaks to you, because people don't believe that God will, That's right. will, will, That's will, right. will speak to them. They don't believe that. But he will, y'all. He's God. He's God, and he's seeking, he's seeking to save that which is lost. He loves you. He's not against you. He's for you. Amen? And if you haven't, you, you've got something else? No. Yep. Yeah. If you haven't come to him, listen, again, in Romans 10 and 9, if you will confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Yes. So simple. Look. All of this other stuff, you got to run over here, and I got to run over yonder. You know, I'm trying to get saved. I'm going to get yeah. Come, So simple because you want to get in works because everything in this life, we, we work for it. You know, the society teach you to work, work, work. Yeah, and you should work. You need to work, okay? But he, no, he said, God said, confess, believe, come open your mouth, confess to Jesus. You, you got to get some knowledge of him to know that, that he's God. But that's what you are hearing. That Jesus is the way. It's no another. There's no other name that have been given by, given unto men whereby he must be saved. But the name of Jesus. No other name out of all of the world, all of the gods of the world. No other name but Jesus. And no man will come to the Father except through him. And we confess, you heard him, you know he is the Son of God. You confess with your mouth and believe it in your heart. God said, Thou shalt be saved. So I confess. Father, I thank you. You send your son, Jesus. I believe you sent him. I believe it in my heart. He's the Messiah. He's the one. And I confess it with my mouth, and I believe it in my heart, in my, not the blood pumping in, in my spirit. And God said, you're saved. Just that simple. Not by works, lest any man would go to boasting. Because you know how we are. We are both. I did this, man. Yeah. Hey, look, That's I did true. this. Oh, good. no, no, no. It's by faith. Trust in God. Just trust him. And that's it. Just simple as that. So welcome to the kingdom of God. Praise the Lord. Welcome to the kingdom of God. Now we'd like to, uh, for those concerning our giving, let's go there. Got something on your heart? You sure? Nope. Okay, all right. In uh, Second, uh, Second Corinthians here, the ninth chapter concerning your giving, okay? We want to, if you sow your seed again, we want to sow in faith, okay? Come to God, sow in faith. Just trust him. Just trust God, I come to you again. You know, just, just relax. Sow my seed, God, in faith. Your word said this. This is what you said. You might not feel it, but, Lord, I'm trusting you. And a token of believing what you said, I'm bringing my tithe and I'm offering to you. I'm doing this. I need it. I needed it yesterday, God, and you know it. But I'm sowing it in faith. And he says this here. But this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly, and he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Every man according as he had purpose in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity. For God loveth a cheerful giver, 
And God is able to make all yes. grace abound toward you. Do you always have all sufficiency in all things? May abound to yes, every Jesus. good work. Amen. Amen. And verse 10 say, He that minister seed to the sower, both minister bread for your food, and multiply your seed sown and increase the fruit of your righteousness. Amen. Amen. Being enriched in everything to all bountifulness, which causes through us thanksgiving to God. Praise God. God meet your needs. That's right. yes. He wants to meet your needs. Thank you. He worshiped, yes, he said, Blood, I worship of all things that thou yes. would prosper and be in health even as your soul prosper. This is the will of God. He is not against you having. He's trying to get it to you. He just wanted it in the right order. Amen. Praise God. So, Father, we thank you for the abounding bless grace of Almighty God. We sow our seed before you in faith. We bless your name and give thanks and praise. We worship you. We glorify you, and we thank you for blessing and meeting the needs of your people. And we honor you, God. We honor you for the abounding grace that you have bestowed upon us. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Praise God. Now, all right, for you who put the joiners in our, we, we've been having, uh, taking communion ever since the COVID-19 that took place well over a year ago now. And we were, we were still taking this communion. You know, it's, it's, we're, we're looking to the Word of God again. Take, we're taking it in faith. Yes. We're taking yes. it by faith, in faith. This is what, please God, remember the Hebrews 11 and 6, without faith it is impossible to please God. But they that come to Him must believe that He is, and He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. Amen. So we come to a uh, concerning uh, uh, out of the uh, 1 Corinthians, the 11th chapter here. And again, we will uh, remind you that he, the one that take of this bread, eat of the what we call representing Christ's body, okay, and the, and the drink here representing his blood, okay, showing it until he comes. But if you take this unworthily, or in an unworthy manner, he said, you will bring uh, eternal punishment upon yourself, and you don't want that. Again, and he, he says, uh, verse 27, uh, out of the uh, Corinthians 11, 27, he said, Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, check himself out, repent, pray, and then eat, okay, of the bread and drink of the cup, okay? And for he to eat it and drink it unworthily, eat it and drink it damnation to himself. Damnation to yourself. Eternal punishment is upon you. You don't want that. And you're not discerning the Lord's body. He said, and because of this, many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. Again, premature death. Even your, even your own loved ones won't come to, Greece, come to Jesus because... The body of Christ taking this unworthily. Man, judge yourself. Get out of strife. Repent. Repent. Amen. And then take it. All right. Amen. So uh, the apostle Paul says to the church, he says, Now for I have received of the Lord, verse 23, uh, that also which I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, how he took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do you in remembrance of me. Let us all eat together. Now, after the same manner, he took the cup. When he had supped, saying, This cup is a new testament in my blood. This do you as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Let us drink together. Mm -hmm. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord death till he come. Thank Amen. Jesus. Yes, and we come against him. We come against that 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 evil virus. Yes. Father. We come against the name of Jesus. Uh, fear Shed that's that being put out. Fear of Satan is putting fear out Shed in the people. He's a liar. Yeah. But we come yeah. we come against him in the name of Jesus. Yes. But we come against Shed all diseases and all viruses or anything. Quote the COVID nineteen, whether the flu, and we come Shed against it. We shown Christ's death till yes. He comes. He paid the price. He finished it. And when he went to Calvary's cross, and when he was beaten, 
while he when uh, as he went to the cross and they ripped his back open and his flesh filleted open through whipping him and, and beating him he said by those stripes he called them stripes just ripping in men blood and flesh just whoo my lord he, he did that for me and he did it for you and he said by those stripes we are healed amen Jesus did it for us so that's why we come to him we take communion we bleed and by his stripes we're healed and stay out of fear God have not given you the spirit of fear for the power, love, and of a sound yes. mind. Amen. And faith come by hearing and hearing by the word. Amen. So you be blessed. Amen. Amen. Be blessed. Jesus will never leave you. Yes, Jesus. And he will never forsake you. Thank you Amen. And he love you dearly. Because he gave his, his whole life for you. Amen. That's love. That's love. Amen. Amen. Okay. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Till next time. God bless you. Amen. Bless week.